today we're going to be swapping the water fill valve and in order to do that turn the water off flush the toilet and you're going to sponge all the water out of there and after that we'll go to the next step next step take this unscrew it and make sure you have a bucket under here to catch the water water's gonna drip keep this piece on here let's reuse that get under here this thing right here is gonna turn pretty easily might want to get a pair of pliers but do hold on to the water fill valve at the same time so that it doesn't spin and then take this off and now you can see we're moving pretty loose I'm going to take that off the whole assembly comes out set that in the bathtub for now all right, get your towel, dry that off. Next step, take your new fill valve and take it out of the box. All it pretty much is is a new valve, a new hose. Um, you don't need this or this or this. I popped this little guy out of this. It was just in there. We're not going to use this, but we will use this. And we want the flat side up. Flat side facing up. We're going to go ahead and push that in there. Just like so. Okay, next step. Take your new valve. Put it in the hole. All right, you make sure that your little nipple here is sticking out, facing towards that deal. And then we're going to go back under here, and we're just going to basically put it back together exactly how we took it apart. This piece will go in, actually, this guy is going to go on here. If it'll let me. Okay, and I'm gonna need my other hand to keep this guy nice and straight. So I'm gonna tighten it up in a second. Get him right in the right position here. And I'll be right back after I tighten this up. Oh, right now we're all tightened up. I want to make sure not to over tighten it because you can crack the tank here. And that would be a big problem, so don't do that. Next up, this guy is going to just go right back in there. Just like that. And to hold it in place is this guy. Just as he came off. Screw him back on. Keep it a nice hand tight, not too tight, just hand tight. Okay, that part is pretty much done down there. Now that we have this, we're going to hook our hose up. Okay, now take the hose, put one side right here, just like that, and then the other side is going to go right there, just like that, and then this is just a clip. And it clips right in here and it keeps it kind of at an angle so that you don't have to hear it constantly pushing water in there. And it's going to hit right on the edge. So we'll clip that guy in there. Two hands will help. I'll be right back. There we go. This clips on just like so. And you can see it's at an angle. So it's just going to hit the side of that tube there. And that is pretty much all we need to do. Now we got to turn the water back on. Make sure we don't have any leaks down here. And then see what happens. So let's turn this water on. Okay. 
as you can see, it's going up. Shooting at an angle. This one works pretty darn fast. There we go. So nine times out of 10, your water fill valve is what's going to be the last thing you wanna look at. The very first thing you're gonna to wanna to look at when you have a running toilet is the flapper valve. You can take it apart, clean it up, put it back on. And to do that, all you do is take that and that off and it will come right out and just clean it off with a paper towel or a rag, put it back in, and drop some food coloring in and see if anything runs into the bowl. If not, your next step for a running toilet would be make sure that your water level is not right there, because if water falls in here, it's gonna constantly be running into your toilet. And the last thing to check would be your water fill valve. If everything else checks out good, swap that out. They're pretty cheap, pretty easy to do as you can see, and it will solve your problem. Thanks for watching.